Greetings everyone. This is the goddess known as Jackie Gates. Let's get ready for our theatre series. The first thing before you even set foot on a stage is to audition. Auditions are the most harrowing thing in the whole world. Uh, you go up there cold, you don't know, um, you obviously haven't prepared lines or anything because most of the time you've just read the script through and um, it's just you up there and you have to sell yourself to the director. There's a lot of similarities in this um, with network marketing. But the first thing I wanted to mention was finding a good fit. When you're auditioning for a play, um, generally you'll find the script and you'll read through it and you will um, connect with one of the characters. I, for example, never played the, the heavyweight, dark, um, murderous type people. <laughs> I, um, I always played the light fluffy, the ingenue, um, the, the soprano roles, the comic, I did a lot of comedy, um, that kind of thing. Reminds me of that amazing um, Monty Python skit. <laughs> You've got the guy auditioning for Tarzan, for the role of Tarzan, but he only has one leg. And Eric Idle tries terribly hard to explain this. Um, and the guy sees no reason why he shouldn't play Tarzan with his one leg. Okay, so in network marketing, um, you need to find a good fit for yourself. The most wondrous thing about the situation today is that you can pretty much Google anything and you can find out everything you need to know about a company that you happen to be interested in. No matter how great the company is, how stable, how fantastic the product is, if it's not a good fit for you, it's really not likely to work. John Milton Fogg did an amazing article on um, finding a good fit with both uh, coaches and mentors and a network marketing company. He likened it to a pair of shoes. No matter how uh, expensive or well-made that pair of shoes might be, if it doesn't fit, don't buy it. it, it no amount of money would be worth having shoes that don't fit. So you need to check out the companies that you're interested in. Um, not just the products, and it's always a good idea to try the products first, um, but also things like their compensation plan, and most particularly reading the fine print. Do you know if your company will allow you to bequeath your, um, your downline to your heirs? Do you know that whether you have to keep hiring in order to maintain and qualify for your benefits? In other words, how can you retire from that if you have to keep sponsoring people? Very interesting um, product that is, oh, it's not a product, it's actually a free ebook. It's called 10 Steps to Success and it is um, promoted and, and provided by a group called Mentoring for Free. Now several of my good friends here on Facebook are um, members of that. There are coaches, Sabrina Coffin, Tracy Kiefer, uh, Dennis Voltz. Um, I've tagged them all at the bottom of this video and uh, you can see if they are a good fit for you. But what they will do is take you through a compensation plan and tell you <coughs> the hidden pitfalls. Tell you whether it's a good, um, a stable company, whether this is a compensation plan that you want to put all your effort into. So once you've checked out the company now you need to look at the sponsor. Going back to auditions, directors can be either heaven or hell. <laughs> um, I've had my fair share of both. Uh, what you need to look for in a director and also a mentor is somebody that understands you, somebody that can see where you want to go and is also prepared to push you in that direction. You need to find out from your mentor or your prospective mentor, whether they're the kind of person that um, shoves you in the right direction <laughs> or guides you or perhaps encourages you. These are all different types of mentors, different types of sponsors and you need to find the one that works well for you. 
you also need to make sure that you don't have a disappearing sponsor, which I've heard some horror stories about. So look into it very carefully. Chat to them on the phone if you can. Um, most often the really good ones are always available. Uh, and find the kind of mentor that is a right fit for you. Understanding that you don't always want to be comfortable. But, and you also have to, at some point, step out and do things on your own. So hand-holding is not a good thing. Don't be swayed by somebody who says they will, um, they will show you, they will hold your hand and take you and do everything for you. Um, on stage, that's like a director actually acting out things for you and showing you how they want that done. That's all very well. That's how they would do the role. How you do the role would be completely different. So um, I never did... Uh, never got on well with directors who um, showed me what they wanted. More often than not, it was a case of I played around until I found something that worked for me, and they would say, yes, do that, do more of that. And, uh, and I'm finding the same, well, the similarity is with the mentors as well, that I'm picking up along the way. Going on to um, a little sort of smaller niche, Within the theatre, there are lots of specialty directors, specialty coaches. There are singing coaches. There are diction coaches. There are accent coaches. Um, there are dance captains. Um, th there are all these people that specialise in a very small niche of a big production. Here on in network marketing, you may need to pick up a couple of mentors or teachers like that. For example, if you are um, in a home party business, um, you may need to pick up some speaking skills. You may need to go to a couple of Toastmaster meetings and, and learn how to speak. Um, you may need to, uh, in a home party business, you may need to just improve your overall party skills. And this has nothing to do with your actual company, although most companies have their own training. You need something um, that gives you a broad overview, and people like Jan Roo um, are amazing as far as teaching you about parties. If you're wanting to take your network marketing online, um, then there are specialty coaches for that. Um, you can go to somebody like Kimberly Castleberry, who is an absolute guru um, as far as blogging goes, and she has a new a blogging co um, course coming up. There's also Facebook specialists. Kimberly's also very good on Facebook, um, but so is Mary Smith. And uh, then when you get into blogging, you go to... Um, people who are doing something like the Tribe Mastery. Um, I've put a, a tag for those as well. So these are specialty coaches. They're within the overall, um, the overall brand of you that you're creating. So when we get to theatre and network marketing, please remember that there are no individual performances. Every individual performance that you see is actually the result a focused result of a whole team of people. There's always a team of people behind you, and you don't have to do this alone. So if I can help at all, please send me an email or send me a private message here on Facebook. Give me a call on Skype. I'd love to chat to you. Um, so prepare yourself, get to follow these steps, and get ready to take on the role of a lifetime. And uh, together we can make it into an award-winning performance. Have a goddess worthy day.